Hello, this is Susan here, Easy Horse Care. Um, as we said in an earlier message, the situation has been resolved. Um, the animals on board the ship now have the food needed for them to continue the second leg of their journey. We have had to wait until we had complete information to make sure that everything that I'm telling you is correct. I've actually only had the complete confirmation today from the owner of the shipping company. Basically, I was contacted last Saturday by a very distraught lady from Lebanon explaining that there were 3,800 cattle on a boat heading towards Cartagena with the purpose of stopping there to load on more feed to then continue on their journey to Turkey. Because of a legal dispute, they had been denied permission to go into the Cartagena courts. Now at this time, probably like yourselves, I had no idea of anything like this was actually happening. So uh, we started the petition as you know and throughout the week I have been speaking on a daily basis with the guy that owns the shipping company. Also um, representatives of the rescue centre as in Alex Watkins and Joshua. Alex is from the uh, Costa Blanca News and Joshua is from the um, Olive Press. They have been very, very helpful in communicating with the Cartagena Port Authority and the Marine Time Agency to exactly find the truth of the whole situation. Now, I can safely say 100% that because of the pressure of the petition and the support from the public, the ship has been allowed to dock further along away from Cartagena. It has taken on the food and it is, yes, it is now on its way to its final destination. Uh, the port is a much smaller port in the El Maria area. All this today has been confirmed and clarified by the owner of the shipping company. The other problem was um, we couldn't actually get him to clarify for a while exactly where the boat was going to dock. And also the boat was off of the um, satellite system so nobody could actually see where the boat was for the last two days. So that is the situation. Yes, thank you all very much. We have achieved, I believe, a victory. At least now we know that all the cattle have the food necessary to continue their journey. I have also been assured by the owner of the vessel that no, none of the cattle have died and they are all still healthy and he will ensure that they have food and water for the rest of their journey. Now I understand that there are lots of issues in this story. Also, since the start of me being contacted, we have also found out from the owner of the shipping company that actually there are 5,500 cattle on board the boat. He is claiming that the whole incident was caused by a false claim made by an oil company that the original owner of the boat owed the money to and when the boat was sold to the guy that has it now the debt was passed on to him falsely and there is a court case going on in Lebanon. The courts in Mercia got involved and this is why he was refused to to have the ship go into the port in Cartagena because quite simply the harbour knew that if they accepted the ship they would have to put an embargo on it and then they would be responsible for 5,500 cattle and what on earth would they do with them. The owner of the shipping company stated that he would rather the boat was embargoed in the harbour 
than have the cattle starve to death and he personally would pay for the care and the upkeep in the harbour in Cartagena for as long as the situation carried on. But to no avail would Cartagena let him do this. So he has used a Spanish lawyer to work on his behalf and basically once again I repeat it is because of the petition and the pressure that has been placed on the authorities he was allowed to go to a much smaller harbour in the El Maria area to and he also transported the food that was waiting in the docks in Cartagena to the other, other harbour where as I said it has been loaded onto the boat. I do have photographs of this to prove it. I also have full documentation of all of the story to prove everything now is true and accurate including a complete statement from the owner of the shipping boat. I will leave you with this story now. There is more to it and tomorrow I will explain in greater depth more what is actually happening at the moment. We are getting contacts from people in Brazil and lots of other people around the world.